द इफेक्ट ऑफ चेंज इन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर अपॉन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन एट इक्विलिब्रियम कैन बी क्वालिटेटिवली प्रेडिक्टेड बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ अ सिंपल रूल नोन एज ली चेटलियस प्रिंसिपल इट स्टेट सेट वेन एवर अ सिस्टम इन इक्विलिब्रियम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ चेंज इन टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन द इक्विलिब्रियम शिफ्ट इन सच अ डायरेक्शन सो एज टू नलीफाई और कैंसल द चेंज प्रोड्यूस्ड दिस प्रिंसिपल अनेबल्स द केमिस्ट टू प्रेडिक्ट द फेवरेबल कंडीशन फॉर अ गुड इल्ड फ्रॉम अ केमिकल रिएक्शन The yield of the reversible reaction can be increased by selecting proper condition of temperature, pressure and concentration. Change in temperature, pressure and concentration shifts the equilibrium of a chemical reaction according to Lee-Chatelier's principle. First, we shall see effect of temperature. If the temperature of a system in equilibrium is increased then the equilibrium will adjust itself in the direction in which heat is absorbed that is we can say that increase in temperature favors endothermic reaction if the temperature of a system in equilibrium is decreased then equilibrium will adjust itself in the direction in which heat is evolved that is decrease in temperature favors exothermic reaction here forward reaction is exothermic that is product is formed with the evolution of heat that is a and b reacts with each other to form c and x joule of heat is released and if we increase the temperature of such reaction then product c and liberated heat x will combine and gets converted into reactant so we can say that if the temperature of exothermic reaction is increased then equilibrium shifts towards left and more reactant will be produced at the cost of product that is more and more amount of product gets converted into reactant and hence equilibrium constant value decreases and if the temperature of thermic reaction is increased then equilibrium shift toward right and more and more product will be produced hence equilibrium constant value increases so we can say that for an endothermic reversible reaction high temperature is favorable while exothermic reaction are favored by low temperature for example formation of ammonia that is haber's process in this case the forward reaction is exothermic reaction because 94.1 kJ amount of heat is liberated so it is exothermic reaction if we increase the temperature of exothermic reaction the yield of ammonia decreases because the equilibrium shift towards the left side and more and more ammonia gets converted into nitrogen and hydrogen on the other hand if the temperature is decreased then equilibrium shift in the direction in which heat is absorbed that is it favors forward reaction hence low temperature favors the formation of ammonia next is effect of pressure increase in pressure shift the equilibrium in the direction of lesser number of gaseous molecules in this case equilibrium in this reaction will shift in forward direction on increasing the pressure that is equilibrium will shift towards lesser number of molecule on increasing the pressure in this case the equilibrium in the reaction will shift in backward direction on increasing the pressure that is shift towards the lesser number of molecules and when pressure on the system in equilibrium is decreased the equilibrium shifts in the direction of greater number of molecules if the same number of gas molecules appears on the both side of equation a change of pressure has no effect on equilibrium position next is effect of volume 
since the pressure is inversely related to volume the effect of change of volume will be reverse of change of pressure in this case the equilibrium will shift in backward direction on increasing the volume that is it moves towards the more number of molecule and for the second reaction the equilibrium will shift in forward direction on increasing the volume that is equilibrium shifts towards more number of molecule next is effect of concentration increase in concentration of any of the reactant shift the equilibrium in forward direction that is more amount of reactant gets converted into product and when increase in concentration of product is observed then shift of the equilibrium in backward direction is observed that is more and more product gets converted into reactant next is effect of catalyst catalyst is an inert substance that does not take part in the reaction hence a catalyst has no effect on the equilibrium position next we shall study about application of leach atelier's principle so first is synthesis of ammonia by haber's process so this reaction is exothermic reaction means heat is given out and according to leach atelier's principle lowering the temperature of this reaction will shift the equilibrium to the right side so it yields more amount of ammonia but the rate of formation of ammonia is very low at low temperature hence an optimum temperature of 773 kelvin in presence of catalyst is preferred next is preparation of ozone so this reaction is endothermic reaction means heat is absorbed because it is given as minus 288.7 kilojoule and we know that at higher temperature endothermic reactions are more favorable and if we increase the pressure of such reaction so it moves towards the less a number of molecule that is towards right side so in short we can say that at higher temperature and high pressure formation of ozone is more favorable but at higher temperature ozone decomposes into oxygen therefore ozone must be cooled as soon as it is formed next is preparation of nitric oxide so this reaction is exothermic reaction hence increase in temperature favors the exothermic reaction that is more amount of nitric oxide is formed if we increase the temperature but if we increase the pressure then it has no effect because there are same number of molecules on both the sides that is on reactant side as well as on product sides thus the formation of nitric oxide is favored at high temperature next is preparation of sulfur trioxide so this reaction is exothermic reaction and we know that decrease in temperature or lowering in temperature favors the exothermic reaction means if we decrease the temperature then more and more amount of sulfur trioxide is formed and if we increase the pressure then equilibrium will shift towards the less a number of molecule that is towards right side so we can say that lowering in temperature and increase in pressure favors the formation of sulfur trioxide but to increase the rate of reaction at low temperature a catalyst must be used now we shall see numerical based on kp and kc one mole of pcl5 is heated in 2 liter vessel at 250 degree celsius at equilibrium the vessel found to contain 0.2 250 moles of pcl3 and cl2 each calculate the equilibrium constant so pcl5 dissociates to pcl3 and cl2 initially pcl5 is 1 mole and formation of product is 0 that is pcl3 and cl2 at equilibrium 
0.25 moles of PCL3 and Cl2 is formed. So PCL5 remaining is 1 minus 0.25. Then molar concentration becomes 1.025 divided by 2, 0.25 divided by 2 because 2 litre vessel is given. Then applying law of mass action to this equation, so we can write it as Kc equals to concentration of PCL3 into Cl2 upon concentration of PCL5. Then on substituting this values, value of Kc is 0.0416. Laughing gas nitrous oxide decomposes according to equation that is twice N2O gives twice N2 plus O2 at 298 Kelvin. Kc is 7.3 into 10 raised to 34. Calculate Kp at 298 Kelvin. So we will use this relation that is Kp equals to Kc into RT raised to delta N. Delta N is number of moles of product minus number of moles of reactant. So over here, 3 moles of product and 2 moles of reactant. So delta N equals to 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. On substituting the values, it gives us 1.78 into 10 raised to 36. Over here, we'll consider value of R as 0.082 liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin.